A lot of Dwelling fans have been asking about my process lately, about how these stories go from written script to the rough pencils, to the inking which is the most fun, and then to the final digital color. So here's a quick walkthrough. The first step to making a vintage looking cute horror comic was to build templates for the pages that were the exact dimensions of old Harvey Comics layouts with variable panel gutters that I could then print out as blue line guides, kind of an old animator holdout. These cyan blue templates are what I pencil my roughs on, the faint guidelines allowing me to easily work within the standard Harvey Comics eight panel grid layout. Next, I scan the pencils in grayscale and fix a template into the layout I've decided that page should follow. Ending up with crisp, precise panel borders that I can drag the roughs into for placement. Using Blambot's Back Issues font, which is fairly close to my hand lettering, this is where I commit to the final script, right on the page. The writing process is more complicated than that, of course. Mostly, it looks like I'm not doing much at all when I'm working hardest on the writing. But by this point, I have things mostly pinned down and am placing text to see how much real estate it takes up in the layout. Now that the rough is done, it's once again time to convert the black and white page into a pale cyan blue line. This so-called non-photo blue is easy to erase from the scanning process later. I now print these out as two larger half pages of blue lines and can finally get down to my favorite business of inking. Very little erasing is required, except for small corrections and additions I make in pencil. My inks are done with a refillable Pentel color brush pen and Stedler pigment liners, which I use for finer lines and lettering, which as you can see here I do using the blue line font as a guide. Then I scan the separate ink pages in high enough contrast to lose the blue lines and drag them over into the rough layout from before. At this stage, I can decide to resize or alter things and then lose the rough and font layers entirely. Coloring is done in Photoshop layers using a restricted old school color palette, though I do allow myself some modern fades and tricks. Like an underpainting, I build up uh, from the bottom. Most of my shapes are closed, so it's primarily a click and fill sort of process. Working in CMYK, which is the classic four color comic book color printing process, I use only 100%, 70%, 50%, and 30% values of the colors to approximate that vintage look. After the colors are done, I pixelate the color layer to replicate the old Ben Day dot effect and then lighten the entire layer by 30% to mimic a faded old comic. On some pages, I will drag a CMYK color plate a bit to recreate the look of an off-register printing mistake. And really, that's pretty much my working method. If you missed the Kickstarter for Dwellings Number 1, no worries. After checking if your local comic retailer has it, you could simply order a copy from the Black Eye Books website. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching, guys.